Okay guys, it's very dark in here because I'm going to bed and I cannot sleep. So I am just going to do a voiceover on this video. Um, I could put the light on, I guess, but my son is sleeping too. So I'm just going to do a voiceover. And um, basically, I want to share something. And this is pretty personal and pretty private. And it's not going to be private after I share it. But anyways, um, it's really personal. It really hits at the heart of the abortion debate. So, you want to be, like, really careful that you don't take, like, a lot of false guilt for your abortion. Um, if you didn't know, you didn't know. You don't know what you don't know, okay? And I'm going to a curriculum right now, and I haven't really cared for this part of the curriculum. Um, and I'm going through it anyways, but it talks about taking part for the abortion, your part. What was your part? And I honestly have felt like, you know what? When you're a victim, it's really not your fault. And in my case, um, you know, I was pregnant and, um, you know, I can look back and say, oh, I should have made sure the condom was safe. Or I should have, I should have done this. And you don't know what you don't know. You know, you trust people and you figure the condom, if your boyfriend says it's okay, it's going to be okay. So then I thought about other things and I'm like, where would I take, um, like blame? And I honestly do not see any responsibility as a kid. Um, someone asked me how old I was. I was 16. Okay, and it was said in a way that was like, I don't know. I took it as, well, maybe you should have known by then. But I didn't. I was very naive, very sheltered. And then someone had said, well, maybe if you were like sex trafficking, um, you know, that would be a reason to say that you don't have any responsibility. I am just kind of still overwhelmed by this conversation and the shock of it, like as if someone else who might have had, might have been forced into prostitution, that could have been your mother, did not affect you or your abortion. There are so many reasons why women get abortions. Um, one of them is they get dragged by their mothers to the abortion clinic. So there's no communication. There's no talking about what an abortion is, etc., etc. So when somebody is asking you to take blame for something you really feel like you didn't do, or you're not, you, you do not see it the same way, it's really frustrating to have people almost feel like they're ganging up on you and and basically tell you to compromise what you believe or to um, to take some false guilt. Um, false guilt can pull you way down in life and if you honestly did not feel that you did something wrong and someone's telling you to take responsibility, it's not really going to happen. Um, the other thing is, let's see. Yeah, basically saying, why don't you just take responsibility, and that can make you feel, I mean, someone's basically calling you a liar, I mean, you can feel shame, you can feel, uh, you know, accusations coming your way, and when you start feeling shame, for a girl who, girls who come from a shame-based home, and you start shaming them, they're going to feel a feeling like they need to feel validated almost like they need like in, in their past if they've had like fornication in their past or they've had you know sex um as a way to cope with feeling shame they're going to feel almost like they need to go into fornication to deal with shame to feel good enough and that feeling doesn't mean that they want sex but that feeling can come across to deal with shame so you want to be really careful that you're not making um, a post-abortive woman stumble